Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use your Addy knitting machine to make a zipper lined pouch just like this. So grab all your materials and we're going to go ahead and get started. Some of the materials you're going to need of course is your Addy King knitting machine. You'll need, I'm using alpaca yarn. I've got my zipper measured out, my fabric, my thread because I am going to make an applique. Um, scissors, thread, needle, that sort of thing. So what you're going to do to begin is cast on with your waist yarn. And if you've seen my videos before, you'll know how to cast on. And it's just a back and forth slow motion. And for casting on, you will cast on with your waist yarn because you will be cutting this away. Do about seven rounds. So once you have made it back to the beginning black uh, what a needle, <laughs> you're going to go seven times around. And once you've made that, just cut your waist yarn. And now we're going to add our main yarn. And give yourself enough of a tail, because you may use this when you're putting your bag together. So attach the yarn, kind of pull it up, make sure it gets under the teeth. And in this, you're just going to crank for 50 rounds. And the timestamp on my video when I was making this, to do the 50 rounds, it took four minutes. So y'all, this is quick. Unfortunately, I can't round it this fast, but it, it does go by pretty quick. So after you have finished your 50 rounds, cut your yarn. Place your yarn in the center, grab your waist yarn. We're going to attach that. And again, you will do about seven rounds with the waist yarn. Cut that. And now we're ready to begin the next step. Kind of stretch it out a little bit. Grab your crochet hook and we're going to close both ends of the project. So just kind of stretch it out. Make sure that your yarn, your live yarn is on one side. So you just kind of flatten it out and then look to the opposite side of where your live yarn is and grab the center loop with your crochet hook of the of your main color. So you're going to just grab that and you're this is an alternating um, closure. So you're just going to pull up a loop, pull it through, go to the other side, go under the main color, grab it, pull it through. Now go to the opposite side. So again, you're alternating and you're going to work down the row. So grab your loop, pull it through, go to the opposite side, grab a loop and pull it through and just keep working this all the way down the row. Grab a loop, pull it through, come to the opposite side, grab a loop, pull it through. And again, you're going to cut away one side of your waist yarn because it won't pull, unravel. The other one you just unravel, it's super easy. So work your way all the way down. And when you do get to the end, you're just going to pull your live yarn to fasten off. And then you're going to unravel. And when you're done, there's your uh, that's your waist yarn. And this is what the end will look like. Repeat that on the other side. And once you have done that, now we're going to make our pouch. So you want to grab the center and kind of pull it apart. You're going to tuck it like you are folding socks together. 
and this will create your pouch. Try and get your inside corner to line up with your outside corner. Just kind of finagle it through there, get it lined up as best as possible. It's going to be nice and thick. And when you do that, there is one of your ends that has the long thread. And what you're going to do is grab your tapestry hook and you're going to line up and sew through the corners and the bottom piece just to secure it. There's nothing fancy, it's just a few stitches and it keeps the corners together. Now I've made lavender stems and I'll link the uh, website that has the pattern in the description box. You can make any embellishment. You can put an embellishment on or not. Here are my little lavender uh, sprigs and I think they turned out beautifully. So once you have sewn on an embellishment, let's grab our fabric and zipper. And everything's been measured out. Now, just a disclaimer, I am not a seamstress, but I've kind of figured out tips and tricks that work for me. So once everything is measured, and you can see how using your Addy knitting machine, these zippers work perfectly. So I have my two fabrics here, which I think are adorable. <laughs> Grab your straight pins because we're going to pin all of this together and I'll show you how you can attach the fabric to the zipper. So grab your zipper that you're going to be using it. So here's the top of the zipper. Flip it over so the top is laying flat on your surface. Grab your fabric, put the right side down to the top of the zipper. Make sure everything is as you want it. Just kind of easily flip it over. And now we're going to pin it into place. And you just need a few straight pins for this. And again, um, there are probably easier or better ways to sew a zipper onto fabric, but Again, I'm not a seamstress. I have learned the basics. Thank you, YouTube. Um, I've learned the basics on how to um, sew in a straight line. That's about all I can do. So keep pinning your zipper. And now to add the fabric to the other side, you're going to lay your piece down flat like this and turn up the zipper. Grab your other piece of fabric, put it face down on the top of the zipper. Line it up, flip it, and now we're going to pin into place. Everything is lined up. And then we're going to sew it. You'll sew along the zipper's edge, of course, and um, the bag, giving yourself a little bit of a seam allowance. So kind of check your workout, because <laughs> I don't know how many times I have pinned and sewed a one fabric is upright and the other one's upside down, so it did not work. So you're going to sew along the zipper and you're going to sew along the edge giving yourself about um, half inch seam or so. So once you have sewn it and it's ready to fit in the bag, everything's been kind of cut and trimmed. This is what it looks like so far. And this is the uh, interesting part you could say is trying to stuff it and line it with the bag. It takes a lot of um, just working through, <laughs> tuck it in the best way. 
And again, just line it up and keep stuffing. It will work itself out. And once you do have the lining the way that you want it, where the zipper, once you turn it up, is almost lined up with the edge, you'll be ready to pin it. And trust me, pinning is important because <laughs> I've, I, I'm trying sometimes to think, oh, I can do this without pinning, and it, I end up having to grab a seam ripper and take it all out and start all over again. So and you'll just pin this in to place. And what I love about, I'm a sentimental kind of person. And what I love about my little pin cushion, it was my grandmother's. And I used to see like on her sewing area. And after she passed about 25 years ago, I was like, oh, I think I'm going to have to use that. And these are all her pins. And that pin cushion, it's probably something from the 40s, 50s, 60s, something like that. But I love it because it was my grandmother's. And she's the one that had, you know, taught me to crochet. Now, I can knit, um, but it, it takes me a long time to knit and purl. So that's why I like to use my knitting machine for just the basics. So keep pinning in place. And make sure it is as you like it. Grab your all-purpose thread. And what I love about my needles are they are self, I don't know how you say it, self, I don't know. It just, it has like a little latch at the end and you just push the, the thread through. It really, really does help. So you're going to start by opening. <laughs> your bag and you're going to begin on one end and I'm going to start on this end I believe. Make sure everything is lined up. I know I because I'm looking at the project I kind of do a little bit out of the picture. My apologies. So we're going to attach our thread um, and you can't see what I'm doing but I'm attaching the thread to the inside of the zipper. There we go. You might be able to see a little bit and that's going to be tucked away. And now you're just going to hand sew the lining onto the fabric. And what I love about quilts is I love to see the imperfect the seam, I guess, the, where they stitch, and you can see all the little thread marks. So that's kind of what I do here. Again, like I said, I'm not a seamstress, but I know what I like, and I just kind of go with that. Normally, I would not pull my yarn all the way through because sometimes you can see the little pieces, but with this, it's a little bit thicker, and I'm able to pull it a little bit tighter so you can't see the white thread. Again, I would normally use a brown thread, but I, since you're not seeing the brown thread and I have white fabric, I'm using a white thread. So that's, you can, and it's up to you with whatever you, is your preference. And so you're just going to go down the bag and it's just a running stitch kind of along the way look at your work make sure everything is straight there's no yarn coming through and once you come to the other end secure it and that my friends is how easy it is to make a bag you can add handles 
or um, like to make it a wristlet, to make it a purse. You can you can round more instead of 50 rounds. You can do more to make it a longer pouch. So that's up to you. But this is just the beginner's guide to making a pouch using the Addy Knitting Machine. Easy. From start to finish, I think this bag may have taken um, an hour or less. So kind of nice if you want to have something new and it's a weekend project. So again, thank you all for watching and I hope you did learn something new. I just love my little lavender and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I do upload regularly until then. Bye.